I want to explain something concerning sickness. Point number one, for any sickness to function, it must be in a living body. For any sickness to function, it must be in a living body. Ili uwonjo wa wote uwese kufanya kazi yake. Lazima uwe ndani ya mwili ulio hai. Sickness will never be nowhere. It must be somewhere. Whether the sickness is called hairpon, windborn, it must locate itself into a body for it to function. The day there will be where there are no bodies, there is no sickness. Where there are no living bodies, there is no sickness. That tells you that where you are going to, a place called heaven, there will never be sickness. Because sickness functions where there are bodies. Where there are no living bodies. Mahali hakuna miri ilio hai. Magonjwa ayakai pale. Maana kule hayana shuguri. Where there are no living bodies. Sickness will not be there. This church, I speak about Gospel Embassy Chapel. This church has no problem with any sickness. For every sickness obeys the anointing in this place. No right, stop you, hallelujah. I am developing a point. <laughs> I personally have no problem with any sickness, no matter the name. Call it HIV. Call it cancer. Call it Ugoncho or Maziwa. This church has no problem with any sickness. No matter the name of the sickness, for every sickness obeys the anointing in this place. The only problem that the church has, which is also my problem, is the inability of the people to believe. Shida tu ni konayo na habayo kanisa pia inayo ni kutokuwa na watu ambao wanaweza kuamini. Because before sickness obeys the anointing there must be believing. Because before sickness obeys the anointing. So sickness, every sickness knows that it must obey the anointing. But it only responds to an anointing when it is in a believing individual. Any sickness that is in a person that can believe will obey the anointing. Because the anointing is the power behind a believer that can expel sickness. The anointing is the power. It is only through believing 
for believing creates a platform for sickness to obey the anointing. If you want the sickness in your body to obey the command of the anointing in my life, then you must believe. Every sickness in a believing person's body will obey a command of the anointing. Any sickness inside a body of a non-believer will disobey the anointing. However anointed I am, if you fix me in a, an atmosphere, in a place, in an environment, there are men and women that cannot believe. The sickness in their body will disobey my anointing. And to everybody here now, the anointing is available in this church. And it is adequate. What we are requesting every individual here is that raise your faith. Believe. If only you can believe, all things are possible. If only you can believe, all things are possible. And the things that you cannot believe in, they remain impossible. If you take me today, you take me to a, a religious church where people don't believe in miracles, I will come out as if I have never been anointed. That, for example, where I used to preach before I established this church, if you take me today to the, my local home church and I speak a powerful healing message, I can guarantee you I will come out as if I have never had anybody heal. And that's why I told you in the morning, That not everybody can accept the revelation we can. Except those to whom it was given. Some of you who respect me as a man of God. If you take this man of God that you respect to the church where you came from. And you expect him to speak miracles and to lay hands and people will be healed. You'll be shocked. You will think your pastor has never seen anointing. The miracles you see happen here cannot happen elsewhere. Because the atmosphere and the environment is religious in nature and wherever there is religion, believing is absent. You take me today when I do crusade, people believe and they come in large numbers from their various churches wanatoka kwa makanta yao wanakuja watu wengi na wanaamini wanaponywa immediately they resume in their religious churches the, the problem locates them because the atmosphere has changed there is what we call the atmosphere for miracles there is an atmosphere that is created that, that supports the generation and the creation and the maturity of miracles. And there is another atmosphere that will always kill every miracle. Some people ask, Ni kwanini yesu akufanya miujiza kwenye sinagogi? Anafanyia inje. Kwa sababu ya environment. Siku moja kuna mtu alikuwa kipofu. Na yesu akakwenda kwenye village maari watu wa wamini. Akamua kumutua peke yake Akatoka na yenje ya kichichi 
akamponya akamuuliza unaona akasema ninaona watu lakini wanakaa kama miti akaguza tena akamwambia how do you see now akasema i can now see them clearly akamwambia now don't go back to the village kuna watu wakati mnakuja hapa mnaponywa mkirudi kwenye makanza yenu mnaugua mnarudi hapa mnaponywa mkienda pale mpaka mnafikiria nki what is happening is called an atmosphere for miracle an atmosphere for miracle wasi kutoa chai moto kwenye thamos uweke kwa chagi alafu utembea uche upate iko moto hapana ukitoa chai moto kwenye thamos unaiweka kwa chagi inakuwa baridi haitakuwa moto until you take it back to the same thamos unaichemsha tena then you take it back you you got into an atmosphere where there is no single command to be obeyed by the demon of sickness because the one even speaking is equally not under authority is equally not under authority i i am explaining this because there are so many new people that after i pray for you you will go by this coming monday you discover customers are coming like nobody's business and then as you continue walking they disappear then you come again i pray for you then they so, so what is happening and that's why sometimes we issue anointing oil so that the anointing can last with you for a little while do you mana tuombe anointing oil because do not be deceived angalia mimi nikwambia kweli hebu niangalie kwa macho kila mtu hiyo kanisa unaona vile mama anasema hapa siku mnyamazisha wakati mtu anaongea habari za makanisa huwa ninamnyamazisha lakini wakati mama anasema hiyo kanisa yetu sasa tuko chini nilikubali kuna kanisa siko chini na sio kupenda kwao na alisema aliunganisha kuwa kwa kanisa chini na kuondoka kwa mchungaji fulani mimi sichui kanisa lao sichui hiyo mchungaji lakini ninakubaliana kwa sababu upako wa Mungu auweke kwa kwa matabau au kwa eneo unawekwa kwa Mungu God does not anoint a place he anoints a man and when the man is in that place that place becomes anointed I think the apple dio Mungu alikosea ange anoint my eneo but unfortunately that's not his way Mungu awezi ku anoint my eneo ana anoint mtu ili mahali yo mtu uko upako upo hata pale ile kanisa ya nyumbani mahali mama yangu alikuwa anashiriki kabla aingie hapa nikienda pale kama wanaweza kuamini wataponywa mara nyingi ukienda pale religious mentality ina ku restrict ina ku limit lakini wakikuja hapa wanakuja wanapata liberty and freedom hata wewe mahali umetoka umekuja hapa ndio umepata uhuru hata labda kwingine kule ambako umetoka huko hata unacheza this place will guarantee you your healing for the, the anointing in my life is adequate to heal every disease but that is determined by how far and how deep you can believe they break through they break through i speak things that are happening they break through there is everything but how can you believe for they did not accept the word except for those it was meant for anyway bona sifiwe believing is your connection with the anointing because the anointing will break the yoke the yoke is the trouble in your life when you hear the bible say that the anointing shall break the yoke or the yoke shall be broken because of the anointing the yoke is the problem in your life and that problem in your life is broken by the anointing but that anointing can only function when it comes to in the platform of a believer where there is faith where there is faith the anointing works where there is no faith the anointing does not work where there is faith sickness obeys the command of the anointing if i tell sickness come out of the man sickness will first observe is the man a believer or an unbeliever if the man is an unbeliever even the demon will tell you go out to where this is my house but if the man is a believer the demon will say you are panning me let me leave him i will never come again 